is my shirt? <laughs> it's okay. It's not my damn all over the place. It is okay. All right. My lips are really dry. I don't have any direction for this live video. I'm just going to do my makeup. I have so much going on today. I'm so excited. The can you believe it's almost the end of January? First of all, there's still so many goodies you can get. I'm doing Galentine's, Valentine's Day bundles. I believe I'm going to do them around $40. So they're a little goodie bag. You're going to get a little unique product. You're going to get some candies. You're going to get some chocolates. You're going to get some earrings. You're going to get some goodies for Valentine's Day for yourself. Or you can gift it to somebody. I still have a lot of skincare on sale. And I still have, hello, hello, this amazing... 75% off kit, so it's got 15 full-size products of makeup and skincare. Absolutely amazing. It's worth over $500 for $119 Canadian, $99 US, like, mm, so good. Okay. Also, too, one, it was a good morning, and a girl joined my team, and that is always just, I don't know what the feeling is. As much as I love doing this business for me, because don't get me wrong, do I like making money? Yes. Do I like going on free vacations? Yes. But it means more to me when I see someone else win. When other women go on the vacation, then I go, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. Like, you get to experience this. Or when my team says, I just paid my grocery bill. Or I have a lot of moms on the team. And when they are like, oh, I just bought my daughter this. Or I was able to, like, Katie bought her son, um, P what a, you know, like a game, I don't know, like PS4. What are the newest ones? PS10? I don't know what they are now. Whatever, the newest one. The look on his face when he opened the gift, and I just knew it was because she made a huge bonus check in November and she was able to $4 Christmas gifts. Like, that is why I do what I do. But also, too, I'm excited because tonight, so I got asked to be a stage manager for a local production. I'll give you guys all the details once I have it so you can come watch it, you can come hang out and do it. It's for Alice in Wonderland, which I'm really excited about because I have um, produced two Alice in Wonderland shows before. So I'm really excited to do this, to get into it. I want my makeup to stay like nobody else. And I don't know, again, I swear I've exfoliated my skin so much and hydrated it. I feel like at this point now, hopefully all of my burn and tan and everything is gone. I'm just like exfoliating the crap out of my skin and I have no tan. <laughs> but I'll just have to go back to Mexico. My dad is heading to Costa Rica tomorrow. Oh my gosh, tomorrow. I should go call him to make sure I say hi and bye and all the things. Make sure his house is taken care of. Super jealous. Anyone else? Like I love Mexico and I want to go back. I am planning on moving to Mexico at some point in my life. It, I'm, I'm making it happen. I control my life and I'm saying yes. As long as it's still in God's plan, I am going. <laughs> Anyways, Costa Rica is majorly on my list. And I am aware I am buzzing like crazy. My nana always calls me her Tigger, which actually, if you look at all the things, of course, your Tigger has ADHD. So, okay, cool. Yes, I know I can talk a million miles a minute. All the things. I'm going to take a collagen, which you also get a box of collagen in that kit that I showed you. The massive makeup, skincare, and collagen kit. So you're gonna get that. You're gonna. Get, I don't know why I shake it up. I see a girl shake hers up. I don't. You don't need to. I don't know why I'm doing it. Hey, Lisa. Oh my gosh, Lisa, you need to talk to Savannah about coming back on the team because little birdie says, and I, I don't know for sure, and I don't want to get in trouble, but I'm quite sure every second year convention is going to be in Europe. Every second year are, so you know how we're earning cruise? Well, I'm quite sure the year after we're doing a Europe trip. Y'all, am I still here? I said reconnecting. Why? Nobody else is here. <laughs> a million miles a minute, but no hate. Right? I'm like, you can keep up. If you think I'm too much, go find less. That's, uh, have, does anyone watch Elise? What's her last name? She has a, she just launched a t-shirt or like a sweater t-shirt that says go find less, go find less, go find less. I'm like, yeah, go find less. Okay. I am perfectly made just the way God made me. But cheers. I'm going to take my collagen. I'm going to let this, I find the hydrating primer just needs like 30 seconds to settle in. And then I'm going to go put my foundation on. Hey, Tanya. Tanya, I wanted to ask, this is probably not the time plus to say it, but I went to watch your live video this morning, but it wouldn't play. Is that a thing on my end or was that on your end? I want to make sure your video was working, but I couldn't watch it. It's gonna hard it. But I'm a little nervous for tonight because 
The lady who asked me to stage manage is not there. She's actually in Mexico for um, a couple weeks. So I am going to the theater and I am going to be just asking for like, hey, I've never met you. You don't know me. I'm your new stage manager. Hello, how's it going? But this is where I really channel my confidence as much as you guys all think, oh wow, you're so confident. Yeah, I'm calm. I'm alone in my office staring at a screen. Of course I could be confident. But when it's like in person, once I'm in the middle of it and I know everything that's going on, it'll be great. My thing is like, you know, that day one, new school, whatever, like nervous. I'm like, and I missed the very first rehearsal was last Monday, which I was flying home from Mexico, so I couldn't make it. And then Wednesday I was super sick. So I didn't want to get anyone sick. So I was like, I'm not going to go. So everybody's already met. They've all gone over the script. I mean, I assume it's the normal Alice in Wonderland and I'll figure it out. But we're going to see. Yes, Lisa. Oh my gosh. To meet you. To go. Okay. Oh, my dogs are fine. Okay. Really hoping Steven gets home from the gym soon because I left my dogs outside and it's freezing cold. My bad. Oops. I can hear them wrestling them. Okay. I'm going to put on our Skin Solution Concealer. So this is a concealer with plant-based skincare built in, which I love so much because I, I know I'm young before you all freak out, but I see I'm getting little like smile lines. I smile a lot. I'm getting the smile lines. Got a lot of dark circles. I can have puffiness under my eyes. And so for me personally, having a concealer that literally takes care of my eyes throughout the day because it's got skincare and it's got caffeine. So it's going to awaken and brighten those under eyes. I want to help reduce any puffiness. I saw a trick if you just take your setting spray, you spray a little bit in, and a little goes a long way. Oof, there. If you ever find your concealer is like cracking under your eyes or settling into your fine lines, it's probably because you're using too much product. So use less, less is more, especially with any unique products. Everything is so pigmented. Of course, but yeah, probably. Well, I can hear them wrestling, and if I can hear them wrestling, it means they're on this side of the Yards, so not trying to get in and trust me. Cole Trooper will sit outside and suffer. Like he'll be at the back door just being shivering. I'm like, ask to come in. You are an indoor dog and it's okay. Well, Cole, he'll tear the house down to let you know he wants in. So I'll hear him, I'll hear him. They need to, uh, they just need like some good time to wrestle. But yeah, I'll, I'll take you guys with me. Look at that, do you see? The coverage, the brightness it gives your under eyes. I, no joke, have gone with just putting concealer on and you put a little blush or something so it kind of gives like a good blend. But that just awakens and brightens everything. My nose probably needs a little bit. We'll just like take excess and cover that up. But a little really goes a long way. And with the peptides that are built into the concealer, it is bringing hydration and plumpness to your skin throughout the day. And I remember hearing plumpness. I was like, no, 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 I'm trying to reduce all of my puffiness. But plumpness is more taking away those wrinkles. What is with my connection? Can you guys still hear and see me? I've never had that happen before. Is it the weather? What's going on? And any excess will just line my nose. Oh no, I'm getting important messages that I can't answer. Everyone, please just know I'm on a live video. I really wanna figure out, which I kinda know how, but I need to get people on it, is like a text alert. Cut for a brief second, okay. A text alert to let everyone know I'm going live. One, so that you can get notified and you know and you hop on, but two, all those people who are trying to get a hold of me and I'm like, Right here. Okay. And use spray foundation because again, this is also infused with plant based ingredients. Skin care infused, and it's the easiest to use. I mean, I like to really shake it up because it's in an aerosol can. Get all that goodness. Because again, with all of our products, the, um, the liquid and the spray, because there is skin care infused and it's mineral based and it doesn't have all those preservatives in it, it can separate, so you want to just really shake it up. Okay. I have to like zoom my hair up again. 
So you spray a little on there. Again, a little goes a long way. And I personally like to stipple it on, which literally just means pat, 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 pat. Because it sit for me personally, it sits nicer on my skin. I naturally have dry skin. And even if you have oily skin, it's helping so that the foundation sits very nicely on top of the primer and it's like the most smooth application. I personally find when you just like really scrub it in. Now, if you get a good look with that, go for it. Put on your makeup how you like to put on your makeup. Please do what you feel best. But if you're noticing that like your dry skin is coming through, it looks like it's peeling. First of all, you might need to exfoliate. But then also too, if you rub it all in, it might kind of mix with your oils and then it's going to like separate on your face. Now, you might need a higher quality foundation, but if you do have a good quality foundation, stippling it on just makes it sit way nicer. Okay, good. I'm glad. Thank you, Danny. I appreciate you letting me know. You being my eyes and ears of the people. Yeah, I don't know why my camera is going out. Strange. Okay. Gonna do my makeup. Gonna go answer some emails for Tristan. So Tristan, if you're on, don't worry. We'll answer emails. We'll go over all the things. Make sure I get to work in. Ooh, the hair. My nose is still slightly running. Oh, I gotta do my forehead. <laughs> Got. Oh shoot. Well, I'll see. Savannah wants to do 11 a.m. calls. Again, I did it again. Phone, work for me. Internet. <laughs> now, I don't believe in the internet gods. I believe in the one and only true God. So, bud, if you could be on my, my side right now, I don't know what. Strange. Well, I probably will get so much trouble if I say this. Yeah, might not. Anyways, we're with Telus and uh, I'd run if you, I'd run you guys. <laughs> anyway, hopefully Steven's work does not watch this, but I'm just, they're about to tank. Good morning, Amanda. How's it going? You know what? This morning I woke up and so I've been fighting a cold. I pretty much am over it, but you know, after you're done a cold, the la like the few days after you're still kind of groggy and tired. While I was giving myself an excuse of, well, you're still trying to get over a cold so you could sleep in. Yes, you got to learn to rest, but also get your butt up, get in gear, keep going. So this morning when I woke up, I was like, mm, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to do it. No, thank you. But I woke up, had a really good morning. You got to see there's some drama on my last night's post. And I just want to let you know, to be clear. I, whatever you believe, it is true. Now, I don't think, I mean, okay, that's not totally true. I believe if you feel like you're stuck and you have to live a miserable life and life is tough, tough, hard and tough, all those things, it can be true. I believe as a Christian, yes, you've got to go through. I was even talking to Stan about this. God promised so many people in the Bible all this abundance, the land of milk and honey, he promised Abraham all these amazing things, but they had to go through a really crappy journey to get there. The point was to trust God. If God promises it, his promises are yes and amen. It might take his timeline, not your timeline. But anyways, I believe as long as it does align up with God's will for your life, if he put a desire and a passion in your heart, now there is a difference. You can't just follow your all your heart's desires because a heart is fleshly and the devil can put things on your heart too. But I believe, I have a different definition of the word manifesting. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I made a post about I deserve it all. I deserve the career, the wealth, the family, all the things and I'm manifesting it. I don't believe in the new agey manifesting. I control everything. No, no, no. I believe there's a one true God. And as long as I align with him and I let him know that like, hey, I have a desire to, I'm gonna make this up. I have a desire to have a kid. I wanna start getting my health right. I wanna start trying to have a kid. I wanna start building my life around it. Now God, if it is your 
willed for me to have a kid, I'm preparing and being a good steward and he will bless me. Now, if it is against God's will and he doesn't want me to have a kid, well, I can't make that happen. I can't manifest something that isn't in his will. But God does say he wants us to have the best lives. He wants us to live in abundance. Now, there's trials and tribulations. Don't get me wrong. Doesn't mean everything's gonna be easy. Doesn't mean my kid's gonna be perfect and it's smiling rainbows all the time. I am aware of what it's like to have a kid. <laughs> now, I don't have a kid. I'm not telling you how to parent. I don't really, truly, truly know. But I have lived for weeks at a time, months at a time, in houses with people who have kids. It is not all sunshine and rainbows. I'm aware. And that's okay. But that doesn't mean the love of a child and loving a kid isn't amazing. Okay, I'm throwing on some bronze there. I also really do love our stick foundation as like a good bronzer, but it depends if you are a powder gal or a stick creamy one. Right? And I, I constantly, so I view the word manifestation as prayer. Like I pray with God and say like, this is what I would like. This is what I want. Please guide me in your direction. So March, February, March of 2021, my business, out again. My business wasn't really going anywhere, um, but I really wanted to do it. I really wanted to do unique. Now, when I say it wasn't going anywhere, it's because I was literally doing nothing, okay? I messaged Savannah. I was like, I haven't made any mascara sales in, like, months. And she's like, well, when's the last time you even talked about mascara? And I was like, I guess it's been a few months. <laughs> so, it was me, okay? It has nothing to do with the business. It was me. If you don't work, you don't show up for your shift at McDonald's, McDonald's not going to pay you. Same here. You don't show up for your business, it's not gonna show up for you. Um, but anyways, I prayed to God, I said, I really want this to work, but if it is against your will, I can't make it happen and please let me know. So either let me let it go or help change this and let this grow. And that next month I went all in, I went live every single day, I changed my attitude, I put in the work, I did all these things, and I had our very first leadership rank, and I just kept going and going and going. So I, and I continually pray to God, be like, God, I have some big dreams with this business. I want to help so many women change their lives. I want to help women be able to just afford groceries without stressing. I want to help a woman be go like, yeah, you want to take a second dance class? You want to even take your first dance class? You want to, talking about like their kids, you want to... I don't know, like pay for your kids Christmas and like go above and beyond this year. Give them like a few Santa gifts, a few gifts from you, all these different things. I want to help change women's lives. But God, if it's against your will, then let me know. Give me a different passion. Help lead me and guide me in that direction. That is my vision of manifesting. I want to make sure it's clear with everybody. <laughs> all right. Also, you're going to get those blush in the big makeup kit. So I'll always reference that because if you want a really good deal, 99 US, I think it's worth over like 400 um, US, 500 Canadian. Oops, let's keep this over. I just keep it organized. There we go. Good, 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 good. I want a little bit of highlighter. We got to look real cute for this first day of a stage manager. It's a Monday. We want to look good for a Monday. I find, I don't know what it is, society has just taught us that Mondays are bad. I think it's because that's generally the day you go back to work. If you hate Mondays because you're going to a job you don't love, it's, it's time to fix and switch that. Now, I do understand no matter what, you can love your job, you can love your business. There are some hard days. There are some days where you're just like, oh, I don't want to necessarily get up out of bed. I absolutely get that. But if Mondays suck all of the time... Take a little look at her last her eyes. One day shouldn't suck. Okay, I don't hear my dogs anymore. So come with me for just a second if you don't mind. Am I going on in the dementia? Just, I don't know, is it really cold out today? I just wanna leave my dogs out there. See, they're not even at the back door. They will be like at this back door begging to come in. I wonder if they're playing. It's snowing, so if it's snowing, it can't be that cold. Here they are. What does my thing say? Oh, like minus six, they'll survive. They've got fur coats. Trooper, for the first two and a half years of his life, lived outside, so I was like, you know what? He's okay. Cole, though, my big dog, like my big, huge, fluffy, 
whatever he is, bear, he's more of a baby. He'll be like, it's cold out, I'm on in. I'm like, okay. okay. I think he did live outside. He was, a, I think, also a reserve dog, too, for the first, like, three months of his life. So, you don't tote snow what it's like. Sit. I just like an extra good set dewy look. It's got, like, smooth and nice, nice skin looks. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Why is all my stuff so far away? Quick on the brows. For my brows, join me nuts. We're going to do a quick, easy little eye. February is all about the eyes. I'm going to do some really fun Valentine's Day looks. I think even today I'll kind of match the like pinks and the reds. I'm doing, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you missed it, little Galentine's, Valentine's Day bundles. So they're little goodie bags. I want to say, I haven't picked the price, but I think around 40 Canadian dollars, you're going to get a unique product. You're going to get some candies and some goodies, like earrings or a ring or something. I think I'm going to make them like a really cute, which a great little gift. Hey, Lauren, really cute gift for yourself or your girlfriend. Like, can we normalize loving our gal pals on Valentine's Day? especially the single ones, but also too, you've been married a long time, it's not as special anymore. <laughs> you don't always want to trust a guy, and even I don't care, the guy can truly just love on you like crazy, but that doesn't mean a woman can't, hey mom, I just saw your text, yes, I do believe so, I think maybe if we just stay here, and you just visit the dogs. Um, oh, thank you so much. I, this was in the back of my closet. I forgot I even had it. So I was like, oh, I want to make sure I want to wear that. Because it's kind of still fun and vibrant. And it still feels like it goes for Valentine's. It's not quite like the shirt I'd wear on Valentine's. But I was like, you know what? It might seem early for you guys. But to be able to get all the products in and get the goodie bags out to you. Yeah, see, treat yourself. First of all, let the man treat you. That's okay. Or the woman, whoever you're with. But also treat yourself, also treat your gal pals, like send them a card, buy them a little goodie bag. Like can we normalize saying I love you and treating our friends like our princesses, like our, little, our other queens. I got the best little card from Katie. Katie, my gal pal from Tennessee, when we were in Mexico together, she got me a little thing and it's like, um, card and it literally has a crown on it. I wonder if I could take it off. And it says, but like, a real queen helps fix another woman's crown. And it's true. Like, there is enough room for all the queens in the world. Okay, I need to like, over arch, from, in my opinion, over arch my brow. But it's because my brow hairs just naturally fall down. I'm really hoping, I can't promise this, but that Unique will come out with like a brow gel. We used to, apparently a million years ago, had a brow gel. And then they discontinued it. And they were supposed to make a new one, but I know we get focused on so many products, but I would love a brow gel. Hey Tiffany, I saw your messages. I will answer you. I've got more for you. I'm so proud of you. I'm just on a live video right now. I was like, oh shoot, probably shouldn't have gone live. I'm in the middle of like a handful of important conversations. Oops. But I don't know. I find my algorithm is best when I go live like 9, 10 o'clock. Most of you guys are on here. I was like, do I need you guys have a job? <laughs> I mean, I can't say squat because... I used to work in an office, just and if you're still watching, yes, I did this, but instead of listening to music, I would just throw on Savannah's live videos, and I would watch. And if it got distracting, I would pause it so that I could, like, focus on work and things. I'm just, like, examining my brows. Brows are a tough one because nobody spends that much time staring at their brows. So whenever you stare at your brows that long, you think they look funny. But in reality, it's like, well, no, they look fun. You just don't 
stare at them that long. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Okay. What should we do for an iron walk? Do we think maybe? I want to do liquid eyeshadows because they're the easiest to use. They are dummy proof. They are... I'm too young to do makeup, I'm too old to do makeup, I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup, I have hooded eyelids, I don't have time to do makeup, these are the easiest to use, like I'm telling you, I'm not an eyeshadow expert, I, if you guys have seen in the past when I attempt to do, sometimes they turn out amazing, okay, I gotta, I gotta be nice to myself, sometimes they turn out okay, but most of the time, Lord help me, it's a little crazy, I really want to make sure we still have decisive on the, I don't work on special or available but i'm gonna use this darker purple on the outer corner and then go in with reverend reverend i believe comes in the kit as well it is such a beautiful color it is my most popular shade everyone buys it, it is my customer favorite because it just goes it's like a champagne shimmery rose gold it's so pretty but we're going to take a little bit of the purple it's decisive now this is a liquid eyeshadow internet Boopity boppity boo. <laughs> you can go and swipe it on right away. I do find this particular color is a bit dark and I only want a little bit, so I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush. You just tap it. It is a liquid that dries, so you wanna blend right away, but it dries so that throughout the day, if you rub your eyes, you get sweaty eyelids, you cry, any of the things, it's not gonna budge or smudge or move because that's my big thing I was like well first of all yes don't lie we all get sweaty eyelids sometimes maybe in the winter not so much but it's snowing it's like a blizzard and when a blizzard's coming at you you don't want your makeup to look ridiculous so for me having an eyeshadow that I know stays and it dries really nicely you don't have fallout I'm getting all these notifications I find when I get notifications, like a reminder, it says like meeting or whatever on my phone, it won't go away if I'm live. So I have to swipe it away or else then I can't see like half my phone. Okay, I'm just blending a little bit more into the crease. I like that purple. It's a really pretty color. I appreciate, especially the Reverend. This may be a lot to go all over your eyelid, but the Reverend color, you swipe all over your eyelid and you just need to do one color and you're good to go. It looks like a full, beautiful eye look. You can build up the color so you can go darker and darker. So you could literally take one shade, swipe it over your eye, add a little bit extra on the outer corner and it builds it up. And when you blend it out versus not blending it out, gives you kind of different colors. Like different shades, which I think look really beautiful. So if you're like, oh my gosh, Izzy, you already lost me at the point of like two colors. Ooh, that's a lot. One color with Revit is stunning. What is going on? Someone just told me I would block her. <laughs> okay, what's going on? I'm missing something. I'm missing something. I'm good at giving other people chances, but sometimes we don't utilize the block button enough. Now communicate first, because I've had people just randomly block me and I'm like, we have like, the last message we said back and forth was positive. So can we please communicate and be okay with having those tough conversations with people? And if they're toxic and they're not great and they're not responding, then you can go block them. I think a lot of times if you're actually friends with somebody and you don't communicate what's wrong first, they're not going to know and they're never going to change their ways or explain their side, even if you don't want them to explain their side, yes. Okay, I take a little bit and just bring it down just to give a little bit of extra color. You don't need to do this step if that already seems complicated for you. But here we go. Now. I am easy, simple. I don't want to use a million brushes, a million colors, all the things. 
So you can just go straight in with using the same brush. Now I did use Decisive, which is a darker color. So I would either go in with a different brush or get yourself an instant brush cleaner. This stuff is magical because it's antibacterial. It's gonna clean your brush. It's gonna, it's literally just a cloth. You wipe it on there, takes up all that product and it leaves your brush dry so you can instantly go and use it. That is me. I don't ever remember 24 hours before to go wash my brushes in water and clean let them dry. Every once in a while I'll do that because I still want to like really get some of the gunk out. But 99% of the time I'm on here going, guys, I need to use this brush. So it's the same brush. You're also getting this brush in that 75% off kit that I showed you at the beginning, which you get 15 full size products. You're getting brushes, you're getting eyeshadow. So I'm gonna just take a little bit again almost out. I bought a new one, but I'm the kind of gal that scrapes the bottom of any product. Which I never get to the bottom of any product, but if we do, I'm just going to tap right here in the corner and blend it out. I actually like these colors together. This looks really pretty. I wasn't sure. I've never put these ones together. I really like Decisive and like the frosty highlighter that I put on. That one's really pretty. Wipe that together actually. Not too bad. See, I come on here and I just throw things together and I try and I show you and I'll be honest, I have wiped away products. But like, these don't go together. These don't go together. <laughs> but I'll let you know because I want to be the one that experiments publicly for you guys so you can actually see in real time if it does look good, if it doesn't look good, what works for you. If you're attracted to a color, if you're like, yeah, that I would wear. I wear a lot of clothes that would match that or I love a good dark eyeshadow. I love a good light, simple, like that all over the eye. Reverent. And everyone's good too. It's so pretty. There we go. I like that. And if you really wanted to take it a step further, you do not have to. Please be aware. You never, ever, ever have to. But you take that highlighter you had on your cheeks. I just pop just an extra bit. Just a really better right then. Oh. Okay, now, scares the crap aromas out of me, but we're gonna go in. We're gonna do some eyeliner. Not that eyeliner is bad, it's just that I am no expert. And I am learning and I'm growing and I'm getting better. We all are learning together. Kind of. Nice and close. Nice and close. Nice and close. I'm gonna use this guy. Which. Maybe you already told me, I don't know, maybe I do know, I don't know, we'll have to see. These eyeliners are back in February. <gasps> so excited. Do a slight wing. These are so much easier to use, I will say. You're not an eyeliner, ex eyeliner expert. The shape of this, it's like a felt. You just, way easier to use than our dip and draw. Love our dip and draw, but you do have to feel like you have at least basic to intermediate skills. And some days I do, but some days I'm like, it is now my day. Because I can get one eye to look real good. It's the matching it on the other side. The tough part. My eye waters when I do the inner corner because it's ticklish. <laughs> Anyone else have ticklish like eyelash lines? Probably. I feel like everybody probably does. It's just me thinking like... Uh. Here, the doc's going crazy. Oh, I think it's because Steven's home and shoveling. Is that just 
our house or is that normal? The fact that I'm sitting in my office, I can hear my dogs barking in the backyard and wrestling, which the barking, yes, but the wrestling I can hear. And then on the other side of the house, I'm on the opposite side, I can hear my husband shoveling outside. Is that because our house just is not soundproof at all? Or is that normal? You're like, yeah, I can hear shoveling outside at my house. Just wonder. I mean, I don't care, but I was like, is it normal? I mean, I guess in our old house, back in Sage one when he first moved to Airdrie, we could hear our neighbor's phone ring. I don't know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I can hear my neighbors showing up. I can even hear them across the street half the time. Which then is our cue to be like, oh, go shovel. I mean, this window right here is like a really old window. I don't know when it was last updated so I can hear my dogs in the yard all the time. Which I appreciate. I'm always like, I'm like right next to my neighbor's deck. So I bet you they hear me on live videos all the time. And hey, shout out to my amazing neighbors. They are the best. Um... But I appreciate hearing my dogs. That I want to hear. Because then I can hear if they're being bad or if they're running in or they are tearing apart my swing I used to have. I used to have such a nice little, like, Costco swing. Like one of those, like, what are they called? UFO disc ones. I loved sitting on that and swinging in the summer. And then all of a sudden, it was there for like two years, and then all of a sudden, God, uh, God I don't know why I thought that. Cole, out of the blue, thought, this is my swing toy, and I caught him hanging from it. I love him. But he can drop my nuts. This is Wi-Fi today. This Wi-Fi today. Okay, we're going to put on mascara. Then we're going to do lips, and then I should be good to go. My goodness. All right, I'm going to do primer and 4D. I saw a little tip. Here we go to my lashes. Start curling at the very tips of your lashes and then work your way back. It's like, I don't know. It's complicated. I have very mismatching crazy lashes, so I have to curl mine. And even curling mine doesn't really do anything. Let me sit there for five minutes. <laughs> but if you don't, if your lashes curl, like Danny's, Danny's naturally look like she just came out of a lash lift. No, you're not supposed to be jealous of your friends, but that's the one thing. <laughs> I love your lashes so much, Danny. And then you put mascara on under them. Stunning! I mean, you without makeup, stunning. Ah, mama. <laughs> it's true. You know you have amazing lashes. You know you do. I don't know how. We could trade. I'd appreciate it. You probably don't need to trade. My lashes are crazy. It's just because I have so many. I have like three or four layers of lashes. And each layer of lash decides to go whatever direction they want and do their own thing. So it's like, no thanks. Oh good, Steven's letting the dogs in now. And they are fine, and they are fine. Keep building them up. Oh, also too, to let you guys know, for today and tomorrow only, I have 10% off all my mascaras. Plus free shipping. So if you wanna grab, Stock up on your 40 mascara, or try the Twisted for the first time. I got 10% off. But you need to message me to let me know. It's not on the website. I'm gonna be doing a bulk order tonight, or I can send you the link. 
my lip mask. It is. My lips are so dry. I need to put more on. I think my lips are really dry because I realized, although I feel like I'm super hydrated, it's because I've been drinking a lot of tea, but I have not had water for like four days. I've only had tea. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe that's my problem. Maybe I'm actually just dehydrated. So, well, I did drink a big cup of water yesterday, but like one big cup of water is not gonna make up for it. So I need to do more. get Steven on some other products because you're saying the lip mask is the bomb over and over again we gotta show you how amazing the collagen is I mean he's got amazing lashes too so I'm telling you he'd probably love the mascara but I don't think he's gonna wrap the mascara Okay, we can switch. You can have my hair this week and I'll have your lashes this week and then we can switch back and forth. Sound good? Like a split spit custody situation. This eye though, these lashes look amazing on this eye. For some reason on that eye, it's just not my friend and that's okay. I'm not I'll come to peace with it. My hair doesn't feel thick right now. I need to like Zuzu it up and flip like do a little something with it. This is like I woke up with this and did nothing with my hair. Oh, I thought Steven was feeding the dogs and I was like, how do you get them? Okay. Yeah, our internet's being real wonky. I've had it maybe cut out on me for a second. Well, like one other live video, but this was like 10 times on this video. Very strange. Okay, this 40 mascara though, it will curl up your lashes. Even if you have lashes like me that don't curl, it will curl them up. It will give you all that length and all that volume. <laughs> Honestly, that's because Savannah said it and I was like, what does that even mean? Juju up your hair. I don't know, but I thought it was fun when she said it, so I, I've been repeating it. <laughs> so, yep. Let's give it some va va boom. I don't know. Life back into it. I put no product in it and I curled my hair. And I think it's holding up. The fact that I never put any product in it. Like I didn't put any like mousse or anything to like do it. I don't know. <laughs> do something because it's so flat at the top. Little bit of something to it. What lipstick's gonna go with this? <laughs> do we do a splash or do we do a... No. 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 Hot pink's not gonna let it go. The problem is I have too many options yet. None, no, all at once. I'm blushing. It like goes with everything. Super cute. Or warm hearted. Yeah, let's do warm hearted. So it goes with my eyes, I think. I can always change it up later today, too. This is our matte, but because I put the lamesque on, it looks like creamy. Mm. I 
like those lips look. Kiss a bow. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. I want to go with some perfume on. Some favorite. I loved, what was I watching? I'm like stepping over my sweater. Why is this on the ground? Um, oh, Emily in Paris last night. And talking about how like wearing perfume is like a self, form of self-care. Smelling good is a form of self-care. And I'm like, yeah, it's true. I feel so good and put together and so beautiful and feel like loved when I put on perfume and I smell good. That's my little thing. But I love you guys. I appreciate you all for watching me. I always feel like I'm a hot mess and a crazy disaster, but I appreciate you guys hopping on and watching even through all of the internet glitches. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you so much. Um, I got a good, good solid day, but I gotta go hop off because I gotta help Tiffany. She joined and I'm like, peace, I'm going live. <laughs> First off, you're all happy Monday. Have a good day.